It is easy to say there has never been anyone like Clarissa Shields. Her unequaled success and dominance in the sport of women's boxing has been making Flint proud for years. Now, the 2012 middleweight women's Olympic boxing champion is looking to have a pair of matching medals because anything less than gold will not be good enough for Clarissa. We caught up with her at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado on her road to Rio. For Clarissa Shields, each step with purpose. Okay, go. I got trained. I got to stay on top. No, sprint, 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 sprint. It's not that easy. One step, Clarissa, one step. I make it look easy. It's what up to 12 hours a day of training does. I've spent a lot of time here in this gym and a lot of time in strength and conditioning. Here we go. As she prepares to reach new heights. She was just 11 when she first threw a punch at Flint's Burston Field House. 17 when she traveled from Flint to London to become the first American woman to win an Olympic gold medal as a 165 pound middleweight in boxing. It was the sport's inaugural year at the Olympics. You know it means a lot. I've always wanted to be the person to bring hope and to bring faith to Flint. She grew up on the city's north side amid poverty and violence, but for Clarissa, that background has only motivated her. And it's like, it's just so much bad news there. You know, we have the water crisis, we have the murders. Somewhere, somebody got to be some good news. To know Clarissa is to see her potential to do just that. USA Women's Boxing head coach Billy Walsh is a believer. And she has the chance of creating a phenomenal achievement. <laughs> Clarissa has made history throughout her career. Another gold in Rio would be a milestone for Team USA. She'd become the first American male or female boxer to win back-to-back -back golds. If you consider all the greats that have gone before her, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, all those guys that have won gold medals, none of them have ever won two. Clarissa says keeping on course is easier as a resident athlete at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's like really relaxing knowing that all I got to think about down here is training, sleeping, uh, recovering, and boxing, and that's it. Throwing everything into boxing works for Clarissa. She hasn't lost a match since the 2012 World Championships, her only loss ever. She's an animal when she's in there. Right now I feel very confident. I feel very strong. Thankfully with boxing and with Clarissa, she goes there to win the gold. Well, she came back with gold in 2012. The endorsements and recognition she expected didn't follow. But heading into the 2016 games, her stock is rising fast. If the boxing gym is no place for a girl, then what does a girl's place look like? Yes, I do have an endorsement with Powerade. I have an endorsement with Dick's Sporting Goods. The 2016 Olympic Games. And I got a couple more secrets that I really can't mention to you guys, but it's a magazine, so you're going to see it. And America did when Shields recently stepped out of the comfort of the ring and in front of the camera for ESPN's body issue. So it's just all these things coming up, and I'm accepting all opportunities for exposure. Emerging as a boxing legend in her own right. You know, sometimes people come along that you don't know whether you will ever see the likes of again. They both are going to rest, but you're just going to look at the clock when she's done. 20 seconds, and then you're going to do another set. And as the clock ticks down. She does believe she is the best in the world, and that nobody will beat her. Making the next step on Clarissa's road to Rio. One touch. One touch, change direction. Good. Seem more than achievable. I want to win an Olympic gold medal again. It is her purpose. Well, Clarissa determined in the ring. She's also determined for her life after the Olympics. She says she wants to go to college and become an actress. Well, it's very exciting, and the opening ceremonies will be exciting just one day away. Be sure to join the NBC25 team as we give you a daily recap of the Rio Olympics. Our Olympic Zone coverage begins tomorrow night and airs Monday through Saturday at 7.30 p.m. right here on NBC25.